This is Chip Kemp with Judging Pro. This is a group of dark crosses that were all presented at the 2014 National Bear Show in Austin, Minnesota. Uh, we were really tickled to be able to put them all together in one class for you. We think there's a lot of good, a lot of learning opportunities, and, and, and a pretty useful, uh, fairly logical FFA or 4-H type class. I think when we see them all here, you see some similarities in Mark, but certainly some patterns that you can catch into from an ID standpoint if you're given a set of reasons on this particular class. As you start to look at the number one bear, I don't think it takes a lot for you to see that this is certainly the heavy muscled shapely hog in class. This guy's got the most turn all the way through. Uh, he certainly shows you the most loin edge. He's by some margin the big hipped, uh, expressively muscled hog. Challenge for him is uh, maybe there's just a bit too much of that raw power in this hog. I think we could tone this guy quiet a little bit back and probably make him just a bit more practical, a bit more sensible, and certainly one who would sell with a bit more rib cage. We'd like to make him just a little bit sounder from that hock down from behind. You can see he gets a bit upright in that pasture and way stiff in terms of that hock. This guy just really needs a little less muscle, a little more practicality in him uh, to make him a, a real threat in this particular class. Again, the wide belted, ho level eared hogs certainly is the shapely carcass driven hog in class. In two, here was a cross bear. I certainly got a lot of attention at the National Bear Show. Here's one who certainly from the sides about as soft and as, as good footed and good built as you can make a bear. This guy's super level built. He's strong topped. He's really high in the base of his tail. This hog takes a big massive step on a good bone but still really clean in terms of his joints all the way through. He's youthful headed. He's deep bodied. That's just a good one from the side. You catch him going away, he paddles just a little bit at the ground, and he's never going to be the widest hipped hog that you're going to see as he motors away from you. And ditto that up front. He's going to not always be the widest chested hog in a judging class, but we think he's pretty practical in terms of the tone of muscle that he has. In three, a sleek, highly presented hog here. Uh, a bear has got a unique mark as we go from side to side. He's arguably just a nickel's worth tremor than a bear or two in class. Long and elevated. It's just a little bit rigid in terms of his spine. You like to see him a little bit more relaxed in that spine. Maybe that could lay into a slightly more level, a bit more pliable hip. But that's a lean, attractive, tall-fronted bear who's really elevated up front and long-necked. As he goes away, again, very trim. You can see, though, he starts to narrow a little bit at his pins. He's a little bit plainer muscled. And again, that tentative step that you see. Well, he's probably as wide-chested uh, as anything in class and certainly a bit more practical in terms of his feet and legs and the other really wide-chested hog. The red barra. Uh, here's one that it certainly sells a little bit different than the other hogs. He's certainly soft-footed. He's pretty good bone. This hog is productive in terms of his middle. We respect those things. Past that, this guy probably gets just a little bit awkward in terms of his build. He's a bit too round up front. This guy's a bit too plain and low in terms of his head. He's a bit too short coupled as well. Then when you get him going away from him, here becomes kind of a plain nondescript hog when you read him up high. He's pretty flat through his stifle. Uh, again, his as he comes at you, he becomes kind of the narrow-skulled, narrow-bladed hog in class. Again, pretty big bone. He certainly has some good in him, but probably quality-wise, he falls out of, out of sorts in this particular class. We step back. We think there are some easy things to do. We think the two hog needs to win, and he needs to win easily. We think the three barrel needs to go second, and he needs to go second easily. We think the bottom pair is a horse race between two hogs who need to be fixed a little bit. We're going to give a little bit of advantage to the muscle in one over four. Ultimately, we place this class of, uh, of dark market barrels two, three, one, and four. We cut it four, five, and two. Thank you.